hey sweet babies welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you like fragrance makeup skincare vlogs real people and real talk definitely subscribe to my channel this is going to be part two of my entire perfume collection if you missed part one that will be linked down in the description box for you double check that subscribe button a lot of new content coming let's go lira y'all know lira had to be in here this is your lemon kind of lemon pound cake fragrance um it doesn't have the best best performance for me but it's not like super weak performer either um i think this is an all year round scent it does have those gourmandy touches to it for sure um but I feel like in the cold weather, you can make it even more gourmand and it smells more gourmand. But in the summertime, it's like you got that more of the lemon. So you can even add more fragrances with lemon in it to make it a little more citrusy and bright, but still have the creaminess, pound cakey type of thing in the background. So I really do like Lyra. I don't know if I repurchase Lyra because it's one from Kerosene that everybody talks about that smells like Lyra, but the performance is way, way better. So I might not get this after I finish it, but I do enjoy Lyra. Next is Italica. This one is for my gourmand lovers that don't mind smelling like food. <laughs> this one definitely smells more like food and toffee cookies, cake, and all of that. It has an almond cherry type of smell to it. So it's like a it's like a toffee crunch pound cake with a cherry almond drizzle on it. <laughs> so yeah, I do enjoy this. I like wearing it mostly in the cold weather. Um, it's definitely something you can wear just to run errands or whatever, but I love, love, love to wear it around the house in the bed and just be cozy love it next is overture and first of all the bottle is beautiful it doesn't even give it just justice on camera like when you see it in person and the way the, the light reflects off of it like i just love it so i'm definitely speaking prematurely on this because i just got this recently and have not had a chance to completely give it a full wear or anything but y'all it was love at first sniff when people say that they can't it's hard to describe this fragrance now i see why because it is kind of hard to describe so it's got fig in it but the fig is sweet it's not green it's like a sweet fig it's got a kind of a slight creaminess to it a little bit of spice when i was testing it on my arm it had nice longevity and projection and every time i move my arm i smelled it but i definitely have to give it more of a real wear before i can really give y'all the tt but oh man they they've been hyping this up and so far i'm like oh i see why this is nice and so far it definitely smells like a all year round fragrance like you don't have to just designate this for any season um i do feel like i see why people wear it more in the evening in the summer but i'm gonna see how it does in during the day in the cold weather too and give y'all the tea now this is another all year round zhuzhov and this is definitely unisex le leaning masculine so if you like masculine or unisex leaning masculine fragrances then you should give this a try if you like tobacco honey citrus and lavender that's what you get in this fragrance and it is a stunner definitely not for everybody and i do feel like it's an acquired taste um for sure mostly men speak about this there just been a few ladies on here that i heard speak about it as well but as you can see i have worn it and i do enjoy this fragrance it's just something kind of sexy and powerful about it and maybe it's because most men talk about it maybe it's because it leans masculine but i don't know it's just something about this fragrance and like i said i feel like it's all year round because when i wore it in the cold weather that's when i was getting the honey and the tobacco with a slight little bit of lavender and citrus but when i wear it in the summer i feel like i get more of the citrus and the lavender and then the honey and tobacco kind of plays in the background to give it a little sweetness and a little bit of spiciness to it i think it's cinnamon in here too that gives it the spiciness like a warm spice so yeah i like nassos and i think it's an all year round fragrance for the unisex leaning masculine lovers this one is starlight what a pretty pretty bottle so starlight is for people that like amber rich resinous fragrances it's an amber woody fragrance but it has those warm spicy notes like the cinnamon and clove and cardamom and then like somewhat of a creaminess from the almond like it makes it slightly a little nutty when i first sprayed this when i first got it, i was like oh yeah i don't know about this but you have to wear it you have to wear it 
when you wear it in the air it smells so much better like on you the longevity was there um it had a beautiful sillage on it like i liked it so much better when i wore it versus right out the nozzle and my last jersey off is La Capitale. This is your strawberry, caramel, and leather fragrance. I personally don't get a lot of leather in here. I think the leather is blended smoothly, but some other people do get a lot of leather in here or they get the leather, period. So definitely get a sample if you can. But this right here is one of my favorite jersey offs. I love it. I feel like it could be all year round but for me definitely because of the leather but for me definitely spring summer fall i wouldn't even want to wear this in the winter time maybe because of the strawberry but i feel like the caramel and the leather can get you through depending on where you live so now we got a couple randoms on this shelf because they don't have any sisters as of now but this is another 13 by le labo and this is my favorite from le labo i've tried about five other samples and none of them caught me like this one like this is just so good if you like ambroxan clean fresh just your skin but better um nice projection longevity and sillage some people can smell it some people can't um if you get nose blind to it other people are probably still going to smell this on you and i just i just think it's so so good one of my favorite ambroxan fragrances actually my favorite ambroxan fragrance this is nectarine and honey blossom by john malone i absolutely love this i get so much like fruity peach pineapple like so many like juicy fruits in here and i just love this um surprisingly the performance on this is not bad for me um it lasts pretty well and now i have the uh body cream to go with it and it's just girl this was a bomb fragrance to wear in the summer easy reach girly feminine just fruity fragrance and i love it mojave ghost by byredo y'all this is one of my favorite florals in my collection as you can see and i just love it it's so clean fresh floral a little slow soapy a little bit of fruitiness like it just has everything it has good um performance on me i know byredo doesn't have the best performance um but this one lasts on me i smell it all pretty much all day and i just love it it's so good for warm and hot weather and my hobby goes i will always have this in my collection and then last for this shelf is Sundays. I love this too. It has good performance on me as well. So I'm not really sure why Byredo gets such a bad rap for most of their fragrances. I mean, I do see why Gypsy Water, because that one didn't last on me. But this one does. And I always say this smells like lemon cotton candy. So if there was a cotton candy that was lemon flavored, that's what this smells like. It's so sweet and girly. Um, it reminds me of uh, Oriana with a citrus lemon note. So yeah, love Sundays. Sundays. First, we're going to start with my baby Ambrosia Imperial. This is definitely a for life fragrance for me. Like, it's just the uniqueness of it is one thing, but it's just the smell of it is just bomb. It, and I don't have any banana fragrances in my collection. So it's giving banana, it's giving caramel, it's giving booze, it's giving saffron sexiness, it's giving like caramel whipped cream. And it's just, it's giving all of the things. Like, I'm just going to tell you that right now. I need a backup bottle of it. Like I'd be scared to use it now because I love it so much and I don't want it to be gone. <laughs> Next is Creme Imperial by Navitas. Y'all, this is a good, nice, nice, sweet floral fragrance. So I feel like if you like number six by Resendo Matu, you would like this. They're not the same or dupes or anything like that, but they kind of give you the same vibe. It's like a sweet floral fragrance this one is dense and rich and thick and it almost smells like it has maybe like some cinnamon in it i don't know if it does um you have to like jasmine for this one too um even though it's i think it has jasmine in the top and the bottom in this one um and y'all know i don't like my jasmine to be andalic but it's not in this it's blended very well so i do like this the performance performance on this is really really good idola if you like uh atomic rose i feel like you would like this this is a nice uh feminine spicy rose it smells like you layered kind of like delina with atomic rose with rose prick <laughs> so it kind of smells like all of those wrapped up in one on here and this is a uh rose fragrance in my collection that i have really really been enjoying because it does have a little bit of a spiciness to it and a little bit of a greenness and i've just been really liking edola so I forgot to mention that Ambrosia Imperial is a collaboration with Navitas and my girl AI the Great. I just love it so much. I just get to talking about it, but it is in collaboration with AI the Great. And I think Edola is in collaboration with Big Beer Business, I believe. I don't think this is in collaboration with anybody, but correct me if I'm wrong. 
Next is Venom of Love by Navitas. This was in collaboration with Paulina Shar. This is a nice, cheery, boozy, chocolatey kind of whipped cream fragrance. Um, by the time I got it, I actually got it this summer so when it was hyped up last uh fall winter i didn't have it then so i didn't even talk about it on my channel because it was fall i mean it's summertime so i haven't really been able to wear it wear it but i've definitely tested it out and it's a really pretty cherry fragrance with the chocolate it has good performance on it and so far i'm liking it but i know i'm excited to wear it now that it's about to be cold outside I also have Kind Intentions. This is another collaboration with Paulina Shar and Navitas. And this was the one that I wore um, this summer. And I do like it. Like, I know it's kind of like mixed reviews on it. I don't know if you guys um, have been interested in this. But I actually like it. It's nice, clean, fresh. Don't be scared of the seaweed. Like, it's there. But it gives it, like, I don't know what it gives it. It gives it, like, kind of like a marine quality. But it's still fresh and clean at the same time. I wore this a few times this summer and really did enjoy it. Um, It's not a beast mode fragrance it's not like you know projecting and filling up a room or whatever but i think it has really nice um longevity and i feel like when you wear it in the heat that's when it really shines next is chocolate queen by navitas and this is in collaboration with gabby loves perfume and i also got this one in the summertime so i didn't get a chance to talk about it when everybody was hyping it up last year but i'm excited to wear it um for the fall and winter this year and this is your chocolate um dulce de leche irish cream type of fragrance this is aura celeste by viva more parfums i wore this uh the other day and i was like wow this is nice this is a nice citrus fragrance for the spring and the summer um and i feel like you can wear this in the fall too now this is definitely unisex i feel like a man or a woman could wear it, but i feel like it's down the middle unisex i don't feel like it leans more feminine or masculine but if you like really girly fragrances you might feel like this leans masculine this gave me a like a lemon kind of grapefruity feel up at the top and then it has like some kind of spice in it when i looked it up i was like what is that spice it's like a warm spice they have cardamom in here and it's pepper in here too and you do get that but they're not super strong you just kind of detect it in there and you can tell that it's something different that's mixed with the citruses and then it has vanilla and musk and amber in the base but this is still a nice like kind of light and thick at the same time fragrance so i feel like when uh sp spring summer and fall this is good summer nights for sure spring summer um i actually wore it in the daytime and it was fine it was going towards the evening but it was it was nice i was actually surprised so i've been liking that this is by Viva More and this is Creme Akis. I'm not really sure how to say that, but y'all, this is a nice irisy fragrance, but it's like iris and cherry and chocolate and it's got some cinnamon in it, coffee, honey. Like this is definitely different. This is like if you layered something like maybe like side effect with lipstick on. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but that is kind of what you get. This is what I wanted lipstick on to be like lipstick on it's just not that girl like everybody like loves it and is discontinued and people like looking for it all over the place i don't know why this gives me a lipsticky vibe with a warm spiciness and like a sweet cherry tartness like it's just it's good <laughs> it's good i like it it's not going to be for everybody though definitely get a sample of it because you have to like kind of lipsticky fragrances with a little bit of sweetness and spice to it now this one is by Viva More too, and this is Rouge Imperial. So this one is different too, and I've enjoyed wearing this too. So this has Bulgarian rose and saffron in it. It's got some sandalwood in it. You do get a irisy powderiness to this, but it's got suede and vanilla in it. So you get the suede. The suede is definitely there, but it's a nice, sweet, smooth suede with some rose and some saffron. Like I have been enjoying this. I only wore it once, but when I wore it, I was like, oh, this is can you or whatever. So yeah i do like this if y'all have been sleeping on viva more like y'all got to wake up because they got some good fragrances this is ultimate aphrodisiac this is about to be a fall winter banger because it just has all the let me just tell y'all what's in it so we have bitter almond rum cinnamon cacao butter brown sugar vanilla musk coffee chocolate like girl what else do you want if you are a gourmand lover honey you like chocolate coffee cinnamon cacao like a creaminess a musk vanilla like girl this right here is about to be a killer 
and this one is dark indulgence so this is the last one if you didn't know viva more is a sister house to navitas and of course i do have discount codes for both houses i'll leave them below but dark indulgence is another one that's going to be a banger for the fall and winter it has dark chocolate and hazelnut vanilla musk it has brazilian orange and mandarin orange at the top so you do get kind of get that orangey feel at the top with the chocolate so it, it kind of gives you that orange chocolate thing in the beginning and then it kind of gets nutty from the hazelnut of course you have that musk and vanilla like this is going to be another one for the fall and winter books i cannot wait to dig into this one more as well this is the boss by christopher lee fragrances this is one i like to wear in the warm weather it's got so many facets to it it's it's clean fresh a little spicy a little sweet um a little kind of like yeah like fresh i don't even know how how <laughs> but it has like all of that to me the performance on it was pretty decent um and i think it just really smells good be careful spraying it on your clothes because it does have red juice so you don't want to stain your clothes or anything but it had pretty good performance for me he has another fragrance coming out that he's actually sending to me so i can test it out for you guys but the boss i really like i think it's unisex leaning straight up and down the middle a man or a woman can wear it but i think it's definitely for the ladies that like a uh, unisex fragrances this one is spicy delice by juice parfums i have not had a chance to really wear this wear this just yet because i got it like early summer and it's just been kind of sitting waiting for the fall winter so i'm excited to get a chance to start wearing this but this is spicy you have to like spicy fragrances to like this it has cardamom it has ginger cloves nutmeg cinnamon salt pepper like so all the spices that you want they are in here but after it settles down you still get the spiciness throughout but it's just kind of like sweet and woody and I just really liked it upon testing it out but I do have to wear it to see um, how it wears it reminds me of how I felt about um, uh, starlight at first I was like "Ooh, the spice is spicing in here but when I had it on my skin I was like oh this is this is nice this is really really nice I think it's unisex for sure a man or a woman can wear it but once I give it a wear I'll let y'all know which way it leans really Kryptonite by Khalil T. I heard that the uh, KH in Arabic is pronounced as a R, so it's like Khalil T. So yeah, this has been getting a lot of hype on the YouTube streets. And I do like this fragrance. As you can see, I've been wearing it. And if you like Sonic Flower by Room 1015, you like um, Glossier U, you like those type of your skin but better type of fragrances, that is what this is giving. It's giving powdery, almondy type of your skin but better type of scent the performance on it is way way better than glossier you hands down for sure um but yeah i had a sample of sonic flower and they remind me of each other but i feel like this even lasts better than sonic flower hibiscus mahaja by amazing Carvelli i love this this is one of my favorite rose fragrances it's nice strong projecting long lasting it smells like um you've got like some delina in there with some mint and some hibiscus with a little leather a little sweetness so it's kind of hard to explain but once you smell it you'll understand what i'm saying it's definitely a more minty more vibrant type of delina rose fragrance cherry prunk by room 1015 this is basically cherry and leather so it's like leather layered with lost cherry by time four um i do like it the projection and performance on it was decent it wasn't like you know super beast mode or super duper long lasting but it had decent performance for sure um this is something that most people just wear in the fall and winter but i actually wore it in the summertime for date night i did layer it with venom incarnate because that has strawberry and leather and caramel and when i tell y'all that combo was everything for date night it was everything honey this is by byron parfums this is the chronic rouge extreme and this smells like a nice sweet caramel fruity type of fragrance i feel like you can wear this all year round i think it's going to be really nice in the uh, fall weather and for summer nights spring i don't know if it's going to hold up in the cold weather um it had decent performance not like the greatest on me i hear a lot of people say it lasts much better on them but it was just okay for me as far as performance but the smell of it is really really good this is moolah moolah by byron parfums this one is a nice sweet 
light peachy kind of reminds me of 100 silent ways so if you like that one i feel like you would like this one too because they are like in the same realm or whatever um and it has decent performance on me as well i heard they're coming out with a double caramel so i should be getting that as well but yeah i'm excited because this smells so good it definitely has like a peachy type of caramel fragrance this is mango skin me and mango skin had a good time this summer i wore it a little bit and i was layering it with other fragrances and i like mango skin it gives me like a nice juicy mango skin fragrance so it's a little green and it definitely has a, like a nice juicy mango to me and um, it has decent performance it lasted me most of my day when i was running errands and anytime i layered it with anything it still had pretty good performance so yeah i like this fragrance and lastly is opus core this is a like a nice feminine floral fragrance slightly fruity as well kind of aquatic and watery i feel like if you like chanel chance otandra you would like this fragrance because they kind of give me the same vibe it's just clean feminine you can dress it up dress it down um you can wear it to any type of occasion work or anything like that and you can also you know wear it to somewhere nice like a wedding because it's just one of those fragrances that will transform for you to the occasion just like um chanel chance otandra does so yeah so the first one is is Tonka Sesame by uh, Experimental Perfume Club EPC and as you can see I have been definitely wearing this I like to wear it so far I've been liking it to wear it to bed because it's Tonka it's sesame it's sp uh, spicy it's nutty it's all of that but it's definitely cozy so when you first spray it it gives you a spiciness but that does settle down and then it's just more like Tonka Sesame and a nut nutty like hazelnut to it Next is Sherwood by Memo Paris. I really like the way this smells. It's a creamy sandalwood with some spiciness. To me, this smells like um, Gris Charnel layered with Blanche Bet or Blanche Bet layered with like um, side effect or something like that. It's definitely something spicy in here, a warm spice, maybe cinnamon, cardamom or something like that. But that's what it gives me. But the sandalwood is nice and creamy in this. Next is Mercedes Benz Club Black. So this is one of my favorite vanillas in my collection. This is marketed towards men and it's also marketed as an eau de toilette. And I don't know why why for either of them. This is definitely anybody can wear this type of vanilla and it had good performance and it's hella affordable. Love Mercedes Benz Club Black. This is a Degan Voltaire. This is her. This is a creamy, milky, lactonic kind of sandalwood fragrance. This is something I love to wear to bed, especially in the fall and winter. It smells like it has some type of maybe like a hazelnut or something in there. So yeah, if you like um, milk by commodity, I feel like you would like this. Now let's get into Initio. First is Ooh for Greatness, y'all. To me, this smells like a uh, baccarat-esque with oud a strong oud for sure i think it's a nice smooth oud i might have to uh first of all not spray so much and second of all maybe put something on with it that's a little more feminine this one is must therapy this is just a nice citrusy musky fragrance it has a nice sillage on it um it's not super beast mode i hear a lot of people say this is beast mode this isn't beast mode to me i think it has like nice decent projection but i think that the sillage is what gets people because they kind of smell you smell your trail with this um it's just clean fresh musky with a little citrus so i do like that and i'm gonna push this in the back because it's for spring and summer then I have Atomic Rose by Initio. This is definitely an all-year-round scent. You can wear this anytime, anywhere. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's just a nice rose fragrance if you like Delina um, or Delina exclusive even. I think you would still like this. This is definitely a little deeper, a little darker, a little sexier, a little spicier type of rose fragrance, but it's, it's still kind of in the same family. So Atomic Rose, it has good performance and all of that. So yes, Atomic Rose all year round. This one is Side Effect. Me and Side Effect, we, we went together real bad last uh, winter. <laughs> <laughs> for sure this is tobacco cinnamon vanilla uh, rum boozy fragrance very nice good performance and it's just a sexy type of fragrance last is absolute aphrodisiac this is definitely an animalic uh, vanilla but I love it I absolutely love it I feel like you definitely should wear it on your skin to see how it works for you because it works different for everybody um, some people get a lot of animalic notes some people just find it like very sexy and sensual which I'm one of those people so yeah this is like a sexy dark deep kind of animalic type of vanilla and I just think it's sexy I love it now for commodity fragrances this is gold the expressive version so this kind of gives me what gypsy water did not give me this 
has juniper and vanilla um, in it. And it's just light, airy, just nice, easy wear. You can wear it, you know, home. Um, nice, crisp, button-down shirt, some jeans or something like that. Like, it's just a clean, nice fragrance that you can just pretty much wear anywhere. This is Milk Expressive. This is the fragrance that got me into commodity fragrances. This is definitely a milky lactonic fragrance, but it's also woodiness, has some woodiness in it, has some spice. It smells like it's like cinnamon in it um, with the milky lactonic vibe and the woodiness. Um, so yeah, it's not super, super like lactonic, more like creamy, woody, and a little smoky. So I love this. So this one is Milk Bowl and I finally got my hands on it. It does smell slightly different from um, Milk Expressive. I feel like it's a little stronger, a little smokier, a little spicier, um, and a little less lactonic. Um, but yeah, this I have not had a chance to wear. I got it so I can wear it in the fall and I'm ready to wear it. Like I love it. I think this is going to give me kind of like by the fireplace vibes. And then last I have Milk Personal and this is one I like to wear to bed. As you can see, <laughs> it's creamy, it's cozy, it smells coconutty a little bit. Um, it's definitely more in your scent bubble, more for your personal wear for sure so that's why i like to wear this one to bed if you like uh slightly creamy and lactonic fragrances sweet fragrances um then this would be good for you and if you don't like them too loud this would be good for you this one is velvet expressive and i like this this is like rose a rose woody fragrance it has some sweetness from vanilla it's got a little spice from the clothes but it also has a coconut almondy kind of facet to it too so i like this i've worn it a couple times and definitely enjoyed it and the performance one it was pretty good this one is velvet plus and you kind of get the same thing as you do in velvet expressive but it's a little more on the smoky a smokier side for some reason so this one has rose petals as well it has musk it has black amber in it and it has patchouli in it you still get some almondy um, facets to this so I'm excited to wear this um, for the fall because I haven't been able to wear this one yet so I have a couple by Carna Barcelona this is Tardis so this is an almondy fragrance but it's kind of like glossy AU it's kind of like kryptonite it's like a uh, sonic flower from room 1015 so if you like those fragrances I feel like you would like this um, um, this one sits more close to the skin and it's kind of more of a quiet type of fragrance. I feel like it did shine in the spring and the summer, um, but I mostly wore it to bed. It was more of a comforting, cozy type of almond scent for me. The next one I have from Carner is Latin Lover. So this is a nice floral fragrance. It has a little bit of citruses on the top, but not too much. It's not really a citrusy fragrance. It's really more of a light, nice light floral fragrance. So it did really perform well in the spring and summer. It's not a beast mode fragrance. Um, it's not super duper long lasting either. I think you can get through your day with it though. And yeah, if you like florals, like kind of like yellow and white florals mixed, you uh, probably would like this. But I forgot this one. This is Rain by Kamada and this I have been absolutely loving um, I've worn this to bed I've worn this outside I've layered it with ball to free like and it just does what it's supposed to do it has decent like actually pretty good performance actually and um, I got a compliment with this and I really didn't expect to it's just nice clean fresh light aquatic and like rain but like a sweet floral type of rain and I, this is one of my favorite commodities so far this is by M. Mikalep and this is Ylang and Go so so this is like a vanilla coconut ylang ylang of course type of fragrance it was really nice for the summertime you do have to be careful with this because as i was trying to spray it on me it was like putting just like splats of shimmer on my clothes so it's more of something like you just spray your body down with it and you know try not to get it too much on your clothes so this is no Vanille by m mika left this is a nice vanilla i didn't think it was going to perform as well as it did when i wore it um i do want my juice to sit and get dark so i'm gonna just sit this um on the shelf and wait till my juice gets dark for the fall and the winter but um yeah it's actually a pretty good performing vanilla i did go through a, a 30 ml bottle of the note vanille nectar in the summertime and that was definitely perfect for the spring and summer so i'm excited to wear this one for the fall and the winter this is by the house of list and this is lucine so this reminds me of like chanel chancel tundra it reminds me of opus core it's just a nice light um, kind of aquatic floral fragrance um it has decent performance decent longevity um and it just really works well in the hot weather when it's really hot outside and you just 
want something light and uh, aquatic but floral at the same time this did it for me this is ethereal wave by list this is a nice summer easy reach fragrance if you like citruses um so it's a citrusy woody fragrance if you've ever smelled under the lemon tree by replica this is like a more refined version of that. Um, I got compliments on this. It layered well with other fragrances and I just really, really enjoy this for the summertime. And Juicy Apple 01. This is just an easy reach, nice, vibrant apple fragrance. Um, this is something I wear in the summertime to go run errands. And this is also something that I use to layer with other fragrances if I want to give them a more fruity type of vibe. Young Pistachio Gelato 33 is going in the bag. It's time to put her away for the season. So this is definitely a citrusy note kind of up at the top. It's fresh. It's a great summer gourmand. Like it, it gives you the sweetness and the cold pistachio gelato caramel whipped cream um i don't think caramel is in it but whipped cream hazelnut it gives you that but it has a coldness to it a cold nature a more you know spring summer gourmand nature to it so next is must 12 by kayali i heard this is being discontinued so i definitely been pulling back on wearing it because i don't want to be without this fragrance i do like this this is one of my favorite musk fragrances in my collection it's just a clean fresh musk like your skin but better than your skin for sure um i wear this mostly to bed you can layer this with other fragrances but i wear it mostly to bed and if this is being discontinued i'm gonna be sad of course we have vanilla 28 okay vanilla 28 is that layering girl and she's just a nice easy reach vanilla if you like vanilla like you really can't lose with this if she does what she's supposed to do and she definitely a help out a fragrance that needs some help next is love fest burning cherry this is definitely an easy reach for the sun for the fall and winter um it smells like cherries with a little like smoky woodiness to it i enjoy it um the performance could be better for sure but this is something you just grab to you know go run errands in the fall go do some holiday shopping grocery shopping or whatever and it's also good to layer with other fragrances if you want to give them like some cheeriness and some woodiness to it so yeah i like that one and this one is deja vu white flower this is a nice sweet white flower fragrance it's just white flowers it has a sweetness to it and it's really an easy reach for the spring and the summer um and also if you want to you know layer it with other fragrances to add a sweet floral note to it but yeah it's, it's an easy reach for sure this one is elixir 11 a lot of people don't talk about elixir 11 like they talk about the other ones but this is nice this is it smells like grape soda when i first <laughs> spray it for sure but um that kind of goes away and then you get the rose you still get a juiciness to it you get the rose you get the oud you get some patchouli and i think it's just really nice it's one of the better performers in the kayali fragrances um and you can definitely like layer this with like love fast brain cherry vanilla 28 you can layer it with whatever you want um i wear it on its own but yes it's a nice fragrance this is vanilla royale sugar patchouli and y'all me we was beefing at first i did not like this not, not that i didn't like it i just didn't love it like i thought i was gonna love it um when i first got it it's smelt like um a thick you know brown sugar caramelized vanilla which that part i love but the patchouli was giving me like a like a peppermint vibe it was so pepperminty and like minty to me and it was strange I, I didn't care for it at first um it's definitely been sitting since for a while i've definitely worn it since then and i do like it better much better now i like to layer it with cookie butter from um skin potion and yeah i like it to layer with other fragrances but yeah this isn't my favorite but i don't hate it like i used to either so we ain't beefing no more we cool a lot of people don't like this one but this is invite only amber 23 and i actually like it i like it it's a nice amber fragrance it has some tobacco and some cherry to it and i like it it works well on my skin um it's good for layering with other fragrances and yeah i don't know i don't know what to tell y'all y'all if you don't like tobacco cherry and amber then you won't like this this is hands down one of my favorite kayali fragrances and this is sweet diamond pink pepper so i need to go ahead and use this up so i can get the big bottle because this is absolutely one of my favorites when i first smelled it i was like oh hell to the gnaw to even took it back to the stove honey i did not like it but as i started getting more into these fragrances i went back to it and i absolutely love it it is peppery it's uh rosy it's they say it ain't no oud in here but we all swear it's some oud in here 
must be patchouli or something in here but it's smooth and i just love it it's a great performer as far as the kali house goes like this one lasts so i really like this if you like oud and rose and a little bit of pepper then give this a try this is uh from the wedding collection this is silk santal 36 and this is a nice like i think like as far as the vanillas go in the house i think this is more like a spring summer vanilla and then vanilla at 28 i use that as a fall winter vanilla so this one is a fragrance that has vanilla it's a light um sparkly type of vanilla i think it's champagne in here the sweetness from the praline i think this is a nice vanilla fragrance if you like dama bianca then i feel like you would like this because they are extremely similar and this one is velvet santal this one was actually my favorite between the two um this one just smelled I don't know it kind of smelled kind of like mongrelan a little bit to me um that's kind of how it smells i like it i like the sandalwood and it. it's a light sandalwood it's not super super creamy it's like a nice uh woody sandalwood but with a slight creaminess to it and yeah i just really enjoy this it has tea leaves in it and maybe the tea leaves is what's giving me that contrast between the lavender from mongrelan but that's what this smells like to me um and this one I think this one was kind of better performing than Silk Santile, but the real gem was when you layer them together. Like when you layer them together, that's when you get compliments. That's when the longevity is better on both of them. So yeah, I recommend like layering them together for sure. So let's get into replica fragrances. We're going to put the spring summer ones in the back. This is Beach Walk. So this one is your kind of cocoa, vanilla, salty, um, marine kind of thing. It smells like sun-kissed, salty skin. It really, really does. Um, I enjoy wearing this. It has um, decent performance. I mean, it'll get you through your, you know, your errands and stuff. It's not super long lasting, but when you wear it in the summertime to go run errands or just do something during the day, I think it does what it's supposed to do and I enjoy it. This one is springtime in the park. You definitely get pink soft florals from this. So it's like you have a bouquet of roses and peonies and all type of pink flowers. It has a slight greenness, but not too much. Um, it says it has fruitiness in there. Mm, I think you get a little bit of fruitiness, but not much. It's, it's basically a nice like floral fragrance. Um, it has decent performance on it. And yeah, I like to wear it, like to go run errands. I wore it to bed a couple times and it's just a regular type of floral fragrance. This is under the lemon tree. So this is the one that I said it's kind of smells like Ethereal Wave from List. But that one is more refined than this one. But this is a nice like just kind of um like refreshing type of fragrance so it does have that lemon in there but it's not giving cleaning product at least not on my skin um i know it can for some people but it's like a lemon woody type of fragrance definitely nice to layer with other fragrances in the summertime and also nice to um, just wear on its own if you want something refreshing for a really hot day last for the spring summer replicas is a uh, sailing day this one is definitely giving you marine aquatic ocean salty all of that like it really smells like you are <laughs> standing by the ocean i think this is unisex leaning slightly masculine um if you like this pacific rock moss is a more niche refined smoother version of this for sure um but as you can see i do wear it i like to wear it uh it's one of those fresh out the shower hot super hot days go run errands type of fragrances this one is matcha meditation this one is a more i guess you could do this all year round i like to do it for bedtime um for sure this is like a nice matcha tea with white chocolate so I love to wear it to bed with a chocolate routine and it just lasts me all night like that. Um, I know some people say they don't get good performance on this. Um, I've never really worn it out and about, I don't think. If I have, I probably just wore it to run errands or something, but I prefer to wear it to bed. It's very zen and calming. So this is the fragrance that got me into replica fragrances and this is Lazy Sunday Morning. I love this fragrance. I went through a whole travel size of it and just loved it. This definitely smells like a lazy Sunday morning, um, laying in the bed with your partner in clean, crisp, freshly washed, laundered white sheets and you just laying in the bed the sun is gazing on both of y'all y'all happy smiling talking laughing all of that it's just a really chill clean laundry type of fragrance so you have to like clean laundry fragrances to like this but it also has like 
a soft skin DNA from replica like as well so if you know what replica fragrances smell like you kind of know what I mean by their DNA this is one I had to revisit when I first smelled it it was immediately no I was like who is taking a bath and smoking a cigarette like I, I don't get it I don't get it so I decided to go back to it and I actually decided to purchase a bottle off Macari because it's something about sometimes with replica fragrances they need to sit um so I bought this one off Macari and the smell was way way better <laughs> like I can tell that it had been sitting and really just smelled different like the the bubble bath was better I started to get the lavender and the coconut and the soap you know what I mean some of the stuff that I didn't get with that travel size that I had it was just too I don't know I don't know but yeah so this is like a coconut lavender bubble bath with like some still has a mm, replica DNA I'll say that this one is a jazz club so this is the one that you're going to get the smoky kind of cigars and the booze you definitely smell like you're walking into a jazz club this is um definitely unisex leaning masculine but yeah you get that smokiness you get the booziness you get the whole jazz club vibe when you wear this the performance on this is great I know some people say that replica fragrances don't last but this last this is going to be on you all night i think it's sexy on a woman super sexy on a man um and this is also nice to layer with super feminine fragrances if you want to give them a little more depth and edge and a little more sultriness this is the infamous by the fireplace when i first smelled this it was immediately hell to the no like i was like what in the burning fire soot is going on here okay I, I did not understand it everybody said no no go back well wait, wait for the dry down wait for the dry run okay all right all right so i went to uh sephora sprayed it on me and let it dry down as i walked around through the store now mind you i did have the charosa 62 on the other arm so i was kind of getting wafts of both of them so i ended up buying both of them because together those two layer together everything so yeah but now i actually appreciate this on its own it does have a very smoky opening but the vanilla chestnutty dry down is where the magic happens for me and i do enjoy this last but certainly not least is one of my favorites in the house and this is coffee break so even if you don't like coffee scents i feel like you can still give this a smell like try this because this coffee is there but it's not super like you just spilled coffee all over you it definitely has the coffee it has a creaminess to it it's cozy it has lavender in it but the lavender isn't like a super masculine lavender it's just really really cozy and comforting and milky with a little like calmness from the lavender like I absolutely love this this is a great bedtime fragrance for me in the cold weather this is Narciso Musk Noir Rose this is a nice easy reach uh, feminine grab-and-go rose musky sweet fragrance even though this isn't a fragrance I do leave this over here because it just looks good next to the Libre perfumes but this is the Libre YSL oil this is Givenchy very irresistible EDP it definitely has to be the very irresistible EDP this is such a nostalgic fragrance for me I've been wearing this for about 20 years now, I think it's a nice floral mature sweet scent if you like rose and peony and sweet um scents this is a compliment getter I, still to this day it's a compliment getter it smells good it's definitely going to smell nostalgic to you like when you smell it you're going to be like oh this does smell like something from back in the day but i just love it so much one of my favorite designer fragrances this one is jador doe so i finished several bottles of jador i've been wearing jador since it dropped like 20 years ago so i've been always a jador lover and i think you still have to be to love this this one does smell more fresh and clean slightly a little bit more milky the honeysuckle is definitely prominent in here and this is just fresh and clean i purchased this just to wear to bed and i love wearing it for that the projection performance like the performance on this is great i smell it on me in the morning i smell it on me throughout the night and i just absolutely love this um they do have a new jador out that mfk is directed behind so girl i might be trying that this is velvet orchid by time four i talked about this so much last winter and for good reason like this is so good it has a million and one notes in it i feel like you need to actually spray this on your skin and see what you think about it um it might lean slightly mature to some people it has a powdery nature to it but it has rum it has honey in it it has orchid rose you got vanilla myrrh suede like it just got so much good stuff in here sandalwood like i don't know i just like it i think it's like a a quiet type of sexy a quiet type of distinguished type of woman and i just love it i think it's so good i smelled it sprayed it on me in the mall 
left the mall and went back to go get it love it this is luby croc by christian louboutin i mean this bottle y'all is just everything that life needs to be like this is such a bomb ass bottle for sure this is one i like to wear in the fall in the winter um you can wear this on date night you can dress it up or dress it down but when i usually wear it i usually wear it on date night and it's myrrh zipper oil and sandalwood are all the notes that are in that are given to us i'm sure there's definitely more in there but this is one you have to spray to see if you like it i don't know if this one would be for everybody it's spicy it's deep it's resinous so yeah give this one a try i love the christian louboutin bottles they are just my favorites i love them so much this one is luby do and this one is my spring and summer christian louboutin that i like to wear this one is strawberries and rose cedar um the woodiness is not super woody in here it's really a strawberry rose fragrance um and the woodiness kind of gives it like a, a grounded type of base so it's not like fruity teeny bopper type of fruity floral you know what i'm saying so i absolutely love this one for the spring and the summer and i got compliments on this which i didn't think i would because it seems like it sits more closer to the skin but people actually do smell you when they when you wear it um the only the other one from christian louboutin i want is luby rouge this is ysl libre i had this in my purse one day y'all and the whole ysl piece came off i call myself gluing it back on <laughs> but it's, it's been sticking on ever since but this was the one that brought me into like in lavender fragrances and i just like it it's bossy it's lavender black currant orange blossom it's got some woodiness into it like i just really feel like that girl when i wear this um so as you can see i love me some libre this is the La Parfum version and this one to me is the sweeter, deeper, deeper, thicker, more mature type of sister to me. Honey, saffron, ginger, orange blossom, thick floral fragrance, projection, sillage. Like the performance on this is so good for a designer fragrance. So, so good. Lasts me all day. Love it. This is Oud Bouquet by Lancome. I don't get to wear this as much as I would like to, but I absolutely love this fragrance. It's rose, it's thick praline like honey like dripping syrupy with oud and it's it's just I, I love it i'm definitely gonna get a lot more wear out of it this fall and winter because i just love it so much it's strong it's projecting it's like long lasting it is everything that is supposed to be but this is one of the fragrances that got me into rose oud fragrances and i like rose oud when it's nice and sweet this is versace eau fresh this is actually geared towards men my son actually loves this and i like it too my man he he likes it but he's like it's okay it don't really last and it, it don't really last it's really just to go run errands but it's nice and fresh and slightly citrusy i don't feel like it smells like a man though i feel like it's very much so unisex i was layering this with other fragrances that has citrus in them and it was just a good fragrance to go run errands in next is my boo a trap rev by louis vuitton and i love this fragrance this is not a super you know projector or beast mode or anything that you would think that you're gonna get for the price but it smells good feminine girly um you know just rosy sweetness um a little bit of cacao is in there which i think kind of kind of grounds the fragrance a little bit and i just think this is so so pretty it's so pretty it does get unexpected compliments not a lot but people have complimented this fragrance especially and i didn't even think they could even smell it chanel chance otandra this is the og like this is definitely an og this is one you can wear anytime any place anywhere and it's going to conform to the moment you can dress her up dress her down like i just love this fragrance i've been wearing it for years and years and years and i mean i just love it i personally like the edp so i know a lot of people don't like the edp they like the edt but i personally like the edp and it performs it's long lasting um it has good performance especially for a designer fragrance like if you want a good performing designer fragrance that's girly and feminine and you can wear it anywhere anytime any place this is it this is monger lime this is one of the first fragrances that made me fall in love with lavender as well i really enjoy this fragrance it says it has licorice in it but it's not a black licorice like pungent type of licorice it actually smells really good it smells like cinnamon to me instead of licorice i think it has pretty good performance on it it's very feminine and girly um i think it's a good start to going into niche fragrances because this is a different type of scent profile for a designer fragrance this is narciso poudre this is a super powerful 
powdery, fluffy, cottony type of fragrance. Um, so if you don't like powdery, like literally like a luxurious baby powder type of fragrance, you won't like this. But I personally love it. One of my favorite bedtime scents. I need to reach for this. I haven't even reached for this in a while. This one is Narciso Rouge. Now I feel like you do still get the Poudre vibe in here, but it's definitely more of a sensual type of date night more than that. that one is bedtime this one you can wear outside you can wear this on a date you can wear this actually somewhere it has a slight lip stickiness to it it just smells super super good powdery floral and all of the things i really do enjoy this blue turquoise by armani this one when i first got it, i was like mm -mm, that pepper is too much it's doing the most but now i actually appreciate the pepper in this um this is a coconut vanilla fragrance but that pepper gives it a slightly elevated vibe like this is more luxurious than some of my other um, coconut vanilla fragrances so if i want a coconut vanilla maybe more for date night i'll reach for this or soleil blanc versus reaching for something else like a coconut vanilla i would wear just to run errands last for our designer shelf is la nuit trezor it's such a nice um, designer fragrance it has nice performance i think it's a cute date night fragrance um i feel like if you like donna born in roma you would probably like this i feel like this is a little deeper and sexier than that but they kind of give me the same vibe like that donna born in roma is more fun and flirty and this one is more sexual or sensual i would say okay y'all so i'm gonna hold the camera um so because i have to angle it so y'all can see what's on the last two bottom shelves so i'm not even gonna pull all of this off because this is my um skin potion section down here so i have my oils my butters my scrubs and my body creams here so i've got cookie butter i've got comma two comma sutras i've got the costa del sol i've got um coconut milk comma sutra and royal sandalwood uh body creams i got um uh, royal sandalwood comma sutra ambrosia seven mile beach i got uh, so many scrubs back there um and then i have pretty much the body butters to match all of that so down here is just a random shelf that either stuff didn't have nowhere to go or i don't like it and i'm trying to use it up so let me show you what i got down here so just this row right here is the fragrances that i don't like so back here is on a day no that's lipstick on by replica yeah that's lipstick on and this is on a date by replica i really don't care for either one of those this is orchidy rouge by soradora it's okay it's not worth the hype um i'm gonna try it out again this fall and winter but the performance on it wasn't good and it just smelled okay it was like a spicy cinnamon rummy type of fragrance to me this is Roses Vanille. Love that. That's not going nowhere. I just ain't had nowhere to put it. This is Skin Clean Reserve. I love that for bedtime. I just didn't have nowhere to put that either. Back here is a dupe from, um, I think it's Latafa. And that's a dupe for Rescindo number no. 5. It is a close dupe. But Rescindo number no. 5 is still giving way more than that. I'm sorry this angle is so weird, y'all. Okay, so back there is Club de Nuit Imperial i love that that is a dupe for delina exclusive and it's a very good dupe the performance longevity everything on it is top tier love that and it's super affordable um this one is ombre um, amber oud and that one is ultraviolet that's like a sweet floral fragrance definitely white florals you have to love white florals to love that fragrance but it's got great performance and it's affordable this is chris collins lost in paradise um i like it it reminds me of uh, blue turquoise by uh, armani it has a coconut vanilla salty little peppery type of vibe it's a unisex scent and then this one is uh burn for you by five cents i had catching catching feelings and life of the party and i emptied both of those those are just nice easy reach type of fragrances but this one smells kind of like uh by the fireplace but not as smoky so you want to try that this is sunkiss hibiscus by ness love this this is one of my favorite coconut vanilla fragrances the longevity and performance on that is good this is tangerine boy i do like that one and it smells like tangerine tangerine with a little woodiness so if you don't want to smell like a tangerine don't buy it oh this is by clean reserve and this one is rain and i think this might be the next clean reserve fragrance i get because it's nice clean fresh and aquatic this is nectar by commodity i do not like this it's way too green way too 
mm, I don't know green earthy woody smelling I, I don't I don't like it. it's not giving what the notes say and this is Balder Freak I don't hate Balder Freak but I'm not loving it like I used to so I definitely want to use this up I've been layering it with other fragrances and I actually been liking it layered better than by itself so yeah you guys this is everything all put back together on the shelves the bottles are clean and we got our fall fragrances and winter fragrances pulled towards the front. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed seeing my collection. And I'm excited to add so many more new fragrances to my collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.